Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and I'm bringing you my red light therapy news and update for uh, the month of May. Okay, so first up, we're gonna look at some new articles and science published in the last few weeks. Now, uh, there's a great article here on rubecare.com.au. Uh, these guys sell red light therapy, body panels, and a few other products. Now, this one um, is titled Red Light Therapy and Surgical Implants. So it looks at um, whether you have things such as a pacemaker, dental implants, breast implants, uh, and what you may or may not need to be worried about uh, if you are using red light therapy. So I actually get this question a lot and I didn't really know. I, I don't know the answer. It's not something that I've really looked into or had to worry about. It seems that red light therapy doesn't really impact these or doesn't have an impact, a negative impact on any of these things, which is really good. And in fact, after looking at some of the, the signs here that um, red light therapy can in fact be beneficial uh, in some forms. Like I said though, always check with your doctor about this sort of stuff. Now remember with all these articles and, and science studies that I'll be covering in this video, I'll put links to it below. So if this is something you want to take a deeper look into, check out that link below. Uh, next up, we have a really good article. Now this is an older article, but it was a I just come across it for the first time. It was published uh, four months ago on gemberred.com and it's called Red and Near Infrared Light Penetration, Marketing versus Science. Now the guys over at Gemberred are very passionate about red light therapy, but then they know their stuff as well. They know the science. In fact, I go to them uh, quite a bit for, for insight and advice. So this is a really good article, uh, just breaking down you know, the marketing claims and what the science actually shows. Uh, the article looks at how different wavelengths of light, different colors of light, um, have different rates of penetration. So for instance, near infrared light penetrates the most out of the red light and, and the visible wavelengths uh, into the body, um, blue being the less penetra penetrative. It also looks at penetration rates with different red light wavelengths. So for instance, there's a study here showing that uh, red wavelengths at 630, 630 nanometers penetrate about 1.8 millimeters. 660, two millimeters, 850, which is in your near infrared range, two and a half. Uh, and as the wavelengths get bigger, then it seems to go um, deeper into the body. The article also looks at how intensity affects penetration and also looked at um, pulsing and whether that impacted uh, penetration rates or not. Finally, there's a section in there on which wavelength is going to be best for your, or for particular applications for your goals which is a huge topic in itself. So I'm surprised that I've managed to get some uh, coverage on this question into this article because it's it's already um, quite a extensive article. So they've done well here. And then uh, they answer the question, how much penetration do we really need? Do we really need this light getting deep into the body or not? Now look, uh, this is a topic that well, like I said, it's a lengthy article. I don't want to cover the content of the article. I'd rather just give you guys a heads up so you can go off and read it if it interests you or not. So that's over at gemberred.com. Again, I'll put a link to it below. And finally, we have a short article on redlightrising.co.uk titled Things to do while doing red light therapy. Now, um, this is just a bunch of ideas. If you're standing there doing your red light and you don't really know what to do, have a look at this. Uh, there's nothing really extravagant in there. It's, it's rather common sense stuff, but check it out if you often get bored. Okay, now we move on to red light therapy product news. I heard from Scott Kennedy at Light Path LED. Now, he produced his um, large multi-wave pulse panel that I reviewed, I think it was last year. And um, the panel was interesting because it was very fresh. It, it incorporates uh, Nogier frequencies and the ability to adjust the pulsing rate from one hertz through to, was it 999, I think it was? It was crazy, right? So that was quite radical for red light therapy at the time. You know, there's, there still aren't many, if any, or maybe two companies do pulsing. Anyway, if you saw my reviews, you would know that uh, the control panel was very hard to use and very frustrating. Uh, and they've taken that criticism on board. And I've just been told that they are about to release a new panel, an updated panel that has a new, new easy to use streamlined control panel. Now, I'm not too sure when this panel will be launched, um, as soon as I do here, I will be sharing it on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but if you've been interested in buying one of these panels, the Light Path LED panels, but you were just put off because of the control panel, so to speak, um, then hey, you might wanna check this out. Actually, before we move on to the next section, uh, while we're on the topic of product news, I do wanna mention that 
I know a lot of companies are low or out of stock completely. Uh, so a few places have pre-order only um, options on their website. I'm also seeing some freight increases. Uh, you know, companies that used to do really low freight or, or free freight are now charging freight, which is unfortunate. And I know it's not, uh, you know, I know the companies are trying to avoid that, but it's just the way the world is at the moment. Freight costs are through the roof. Supply chains are disrupted. Um, it's really tricky to get you know, chips and stuff like that. So I've actually seen a few questions come through saying, hey, I was going to buy this particular panel, but they're out of stock. What would you recommend next? And um, obviously, you know, it, it depends on so many situations uh, and, and all your, your, where you live, how much you want to spend, what you're needing a panel for. But I have done a lot of reviews and comparisons. Check out my 2021 comparison series and that compares all the panels. That's, that's going to be probably the best resource for you. But if you are thinking about getting a panel or you plan on getting one this year, but you've been umming and ahhing, maybe don't, you know, maybe just, just dive in and, um, and get it now rather than waiting. And that leads me into the next section, which is my monthly Q&A. Now, I actually had this question this morning and it ties in really well with what I was just talking about. Uh, a particular viewer wanted to get a panel, but he was thinking he might just wait until the next gen panels come out. Now, this, is, this happens to everyone who's looking at iPhones or new laptops or new vehicles, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, you think, hey, in six months time, there'll be a new one out, so I'll just wait. I mean, it, it literally happened to me a few months ago waiting for a, a new computer. Um, yeah, it just, it's just how, how it is, right? Now, it's interesting because I've never seen this, well, apart from last year when we knew, that, when we knew there were new panels about to come out, I've never really seen it in the red light therapy space because a red light therapy panel isn't like tech heavy with awesome features and a ton more like fuel efficiency in a vehicle or whatever it may be. Um, so it is quite interesting. But I responded to this person uh, with four key points to think about. So I wanted to cover this in this video. Now, if you are in this camp, you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna wait till the next gen panel comes out. Firstly, we don't know, other than the light path LEDs I just mentioned before, we don't know when new panels are coming out. I don't know. I, I know companies are always working on new panels and they always say, hey, we've got some exciting stuff happening. But often many months go by and you still haven't heard anything. And that's exactly what happened last year. It's why my comparison series took so long to film uh, because there were so many delays with companies you know, having to delay their new gen panel. So just keep that in mind. Secondly, if there is a new gen, panel that comes out, it's not, it's hard to see it being totally revolutionary in the sense that all of a sudden all the current and older panels are outdated. Um, it just, again, um, the panels we have today are exceptionally good from a power radiance point of view, from an EMF point of view, flicker, all those things, right? So they're not bad panels today. It's not like that we've got really rubbish stuff out there and we need some, some better stuff. You could still use a panel from three, four years ago and you'll reap the benefits of red light therapy. So it's not like the stuff we have today doesn't work. It's not like the stuff we have today is underpowered or hard to use or anything like that because that's not the case. So remember that. Next up, we have the price rises. I've already touched on this. Freight prices are going up. Cost of materials are going up. So if you're waiting, like sure, there might be a new panel that hits the market in six months time, but you may find it's like a couple hundred dollars more than the current model. It's important to factor that into the decision-making process. And then finally, I have what I refer to here as the opportunity cost. Sure, you can wait six months, nine months, however long it may be for the new and improved version, but that's six or nine months where you're not getting the benefits of red light therapy. Uh, if you get a panel that's available now, you can start using it right away. Um, and if you've got aching joints or a sore tooth or bad skin, um, you know, don't you want to tap into the benefits of it right away? I know I would. So, hey, look, if you're sitting on the sidelines just waiting for a new and improved panel, personally, I wouldn't worry about it. Just get something now and start benefiting from all the good things Red Light Therapy brings to us. All right, next up, I look at some new science published this month uh, related to red light therapy. Now, this one was uh, a big review summarizing and analyzing all the current research on red light therapy and hair loss. Now, it's quite a big paper, and I'm thinking what I'll do is a separate video on this exact topic, not just looking at this particular study, but also some other studies and my own experiences and, and, and whatnot. Um, so be sure to hit subscribe if you want to check that out. I will put a link to this paper below so you can go have a read yourself if you do want to um, take a deeper dive. 
But what I'll do in this video now is just a quick, quick sort of takeaway uh, from the findings from this study. Okay, so first things first, the concluding statement from this review, which looked at nine previous studies on um, red light therapy and head loss, it concluded that red light therapy appears to improve a variety of non-scarring alopecia. And uh, according to the study, the most common type of hair loss is androgenetic alopecia and that yeah, red light therapy, looking at studies that tested light in the 630 to 650 nanometer light and one was in the 780 nanometer light, did seem to have some positive um, results. But it's still something that of course they need to learn more about and dive deeper into treatments and whatnot. Now the paper goes into treatment dosages, it goes into frequency, it goes to power output, and it also talks about how they were only using the red light and not near infrared light. Now I know there's companies out there that utilize, or companies that specialize in hair loss, you know, pr prevention and, and um, regrowing here as well. And a lot of them use red light therapy caps and stuff like that. I've never really used them. Uh, I did reach out to one company saying, hey, like, should I give this a go? Because I do have a little bit of hair loss, right? Well, quite a bit actually, but I mean, I've still got some up there. And they were like, look, you needed to get into this like five, 10 years ago um, when it was first starting to thin. And they said, it's, you're not gonna notice much difference now. So I was like, ah, oh, fair enough. At least they were upfront about it. Um, so if you're just starting to notice some thinning and stuff, then hey, like definitely look into this. What is interesting though is, yeah, the there isn't much information on whether the near infrared, you know, the 810s, the 850s help with it. It looks like it's more the red light. All right, so the last thing for this month's video is what I've been up to and what other uh, content I have coming out related to red light therapy. So first things first, my platinum wall panel, a few people asked, hey, do those, I did a video on um, the wall mount for the platinum biomax panels. Now, a few people have had follow-up questions to that saying, you know, how much weight does it support? Is it messy? Is it easy to, to install? Yes, it was easy to install. Uh, you can hang, well, I'm hanging two Biomax 900s from one wall mount. There's, I don't know why you'd hang more than that because that's six foot high, it holds them fine. It's designed to hold two panels, so no issues there. Uh, is it tidy with the cables? Um, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, obviously, you have some cables coming out at the bottom to, to run to your, your wall socket, but it's not an issue. You can tuck them all away the uh, behind the panels, no issues there, and there's plenty of space because you've got those inch and a half um, spaces at the at the back. So yeah, I mean, I have just finished shooting a video on my red light therapy setup where I look at that panel, uh, the wall mounts and my panel. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see that. You'll see a bit more about the um, wall mounting system brackets that I've used in that video. Next up, a lot of people ask me to uh, review a direct from China, source through Alibaba red light therapy panel. I've been putting this off for a while and uh, last week I thought, you know what, I'll do this. So I looked at some of these companies that people send me links to and yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna order one. Uh, firstly, I was surprised how expensive some of them were. They still were, you know, like quite a lot of money. I thought they were like a fraction of the price, but you know, some of them were only 30%, 40% cheaper than the, the, say, direct from America panels. But after a couple of hours on there, I just couldn't, place an order. I just had so many issues. It was doing my head in. I got so frustrated. I just walked away from it. I was like, I'm not doing this, um, which is not great because I would like to place the order so I can go through that process and um, share my thoughts on the panel when it, ar it arrives. But hey, I mean, here's one reason why I don't really rate or recommend going through, you know, direct to the manufacturer because I mean, I couldn't even place the order, right? I was just having so many issues getting an account set up, getting authorized and uh, it was doing my head in. Uh, and so in a way, that's why you're paying, paying a premium if you go to a company like Mito Red or Platinum or whatever, because they're taking all those headaches out of the picture. You know, they've got their staff in China and they're working with their contacts and they're doing product testing and they're standing by the product. And if anything goes wrong, you deal with an office in America or wherever they may, may be rather than going off to China. So look, if you really want me to um, have a crack at this, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will put some more effort in and, and try it again some other time. Um, Cause I suppose it would be cool to get one and test it and see how they do. Next up, what other content do we have coming out on my channel this month? Uh, I have a video, I finished filming a video on my wish list and predictions for red light therapy panels in, into the, this year and next year. So check that out. Uh, I have a Jew versus Mito Red video. I also published a Jew, uh, Jew versus 
Biomax video recently and they got a lot of feedback. So I thought, hey, I'll do one with Juve versus MotoRed. Uh, so check that out. Uh, I also did a video looking at potential, or well, the best product for you if you're doing a lot of traveling, uh, whether you go small, big, medium, and what you need to uh, think about before you make that purchase. And then finally, like I said, I literally just finished uh, filming a video on my current setup uh, and why I'm stoked to have this set up as it is and uh, maybe it's something that you can try and get going yourself. All right, that's it for this month. Again, uh, this is only the second time I've done this news and update video. If you enjoyed it, leave comments, give me a like, thumbs up. By the way, if you do want to buy any red light therapy panel, uh, be sure to use discount code Alex. I am affiliated with most red light therapy companies out there. Discount code Alex will save you about 5%, sometimes more on most of these products. And uh, it helps me to continue to do the research and put out content like this. All right guys, see you, see you later, bye.